The ARC B580 made a strong impact in the entry-level GPU market when it was released earlier this year, offering 12 gigabytes of VRAM and solid performance at an MSRP of $250 that made it one of the top contenders in the sub $300 range. Its closest current competitor, the RTX 4060, comes with 8 gigabytes of VRAM and is priced at $299 MSRP. Today we're putting these two GPUs head to head in Escape from Tarkov to see which one truly comes out on top. But before we dive in, a quick note, if you're looking for a one-on-one -on -one optimization, consultation or troubleshooting for your gaming PC, this is a perk available to Purology Titanium members once a month, so if that interests you, check it out. Alright, now that we got that out of the way, let's get into the comparison. For this test, both GPUs were paired with the Ryzen 7 9800X 3D running a plus 200 MHz boost clock override and a minus 40 undervolt. Paired with 64GB of DDR5 at 6000CL30 with tightened secondary and tertiary timings, running on a Gigabyte X670E Aorus Extreme motherboard. If you want to see the full tuning process for the 9800X 3D, check out my dedicated tuning video, link in the upper right hand corner, and as always, full config details are in the video description below. For this comparison, I used my custom Pure 80 preset, which is an optimized high texture graphics profile. Now normally with these cards, especially at this price point, I'd recommend medium textures in real world use, but since this is a GPU focused test, I crank the settings higher than I usually would to intentionally stress the graphics cards and push their limits. I tested both customs and streets starting with offline mode to get nominal raw performance numbers, followed by online rates for real world results. Each resolution, 1080, 1440, and 4K was tested 3 times per map, offline and online for a total of 36 individual runs. This took a while guys. Then I took those averages and used them for comparison. Alright, let's dive into the numbers, starting with Streets, one of the most brutal maps for performance. In offline mode at 1080, the ARC B580 actually outperformed the 4060, pulling ahead by around 12% in average FPS and an even stronger 20% lead in 1% and 0.1% lows. In 1440 native, that lead narrowed a bit, the B580 held on to a 4% advantage in average FPS and still managed roughly 10% better lows which is pretty impressive given how demanding streets can be. At 4K, the B580 widened the gap again, leading in all categories by about 15%, showing it has the bandwidth to scale up at higher resolutions, at least in a clean offline environment. But things changed once I went into online raids. In 1080, the tables completely flipped. The 4060 took the lead with the B580 now trailing by about 10-15% to across the board, including average FPS, 1% lows, and 0.1% lows. In 1440 online, the performance gap grew even more. The B580 was 26% behind in average FPS with 21% lower 1% lows and 15% lower 0.1% lows. That's a pretty significant drop. Finally, in 4K online, the B580 continued to fall behind, 15% lower average FPS, 25% lower 1% lows, and a massive 35% drop in 0.1% lows compared to the 4060. So while the B580 shined in controlled offline scenarios, the 4060 clearly pulled ahead in online real world gameplay. Next up, customs starting with 1080 offline. Here the ARC B580 struggled, falling behind the 4060 by a noticeable margin, 17% lower average FPS, 25% drop in 1% lows, and a steep 36% hit to 0.1% lows. In 1440, the B580 managed to close the gap a bit, it was only 5% behind in average FPS, though lows were still about 15% weaker across the board. Once we pushed up to 4K, the 4060 reasserted its dominance. The B580 came in with a 13% lower average FPS, 22% lower 1% lows, and was down 32% on 0.1% lows. The gameplay felt much smoother on the 4060. In online raids at 1080, the trend continued. The B580 delivered about 20% less average FPS with a 30% drop in 1% lows, nearly 40% worse 0.1% lows, which really impacts the feel of moment to moment gameplay. In 1440 online, the gaps narrowed slightly. We saw around 11% lower average FPS with 19 and 23% drops in 1% and 0.1% lows, respectively. Finally, in 4K online, the performance delta widened again. The B580 came in 21% lower on average FPS with roughly 25% worse lows across the board. So overall on customs, whether offline or online, the 4060 was consistently stronger and the differences became more pronounced the deeper you went into lower percentile frame times. 
When it comes to power draw and temperatures, the two cards were actually pretty close overall. Across all tests, the ARC B580 averaged around 107 watts, while the 4060 came in slightly higher at 111 watts. So just a few watts difference there, nothing major. As for the thermals, the 4060 did run a bit cooler, averaging 56 degrees Celsius compared to 61 on the B580. About a 5 degree delta, which isn't huge, but still worth noting if you're working with the compact case or limited airflow. So in terms of efficiency and cooling, both are pretty manageable and no major concerns concerns on either side. So which GPU should you get for Tarkov? On paper, the B580 looks stronger. It's got 12 gigabytes of VRAM, a 192-bit memory bus, and lower MSRP at $250, compared to the 4060's 8 gigabytes of VRAM, 128-bit bus, and $299 MSRP. But in practice, Tarkov doesn't seem to fully utilize the B580's extra horsepower. I suspect that's largely due to Nvidia's driver maturity and better game compatibility, especially in a title as finicky as Tarkov. Intel's drivers have come a long way, but performance can still vary quite a bit from game to game. Now, while those MSRP numbers sound nice, the reality is due to current market inflation, both cards are often selling around $100 above MSRP, but the gap is still usually around $50, depending on availability. So if you're building a Tarkov focused rig and you're choosing between these two, I'd say the RTX 4060 is worth the extra 50 bucks. Not just for the better performance we saw across the board in online raids, but also for added features like DLSS 4, which can further boost FPS and increase visual fidelity, especially if you're upscaling to 1440. And just a reminder, I ran these tests using high textures to stress the GPUs. For real world usage, I'd recommend running medium textures on both of these cards to get smoother performance and better 1% lows. Both of these cards will get great results in 1080 and even in 1440 with upscaling. I've had solid experiences with the B580 and other titles, but for Escape from Tarkov specifically, the 4060 is the better choice right now. That said, you can probably get even better value finding a card off the secondhand market. I actually covered this topic in detail in another video called How Much Do You Really Need to Spend on a GPU for Tarkov, where I go over my top recommendations and thoughts for different build scenarios. If you're interested in diving deeper, feel free to check it out by clicking the link in the upper right hand corner. Alright, that's going to do it for this one. I hope you found it helpful. If you got something out of the video, consider dropping a like and subscribing for more hardware testing and optimization content. It really helps the channel grow and keeps these comparisons coming. Got a specific hardware matchup you want to see tested in Tarkov or another title? Leave a comment below and if I see the same request pop up a few times, I'll do my best to make it happen. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments or even join the Purology Discord. We're closing in on 1400 members and it's full of knowledgeable, helpful folks who love diving into this stuff. You can also shoot me a message directly in there if you want to chat. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.